Aside from meteorologists, farmers are without a doubt those who are most in touch with day-to-day -day weather, particularly dairy farmers. There are numerous ways in which Mother Nature can complicate all aspects of the operation, even when the growing season is not going full throttle. The green things are starting to grow in Pennsylvania, and it is about to become increasingly busy for farmers across the Commonwealth, who have a lot of mouths to feed and a lot of land to tend to. We farm about 200 acres, and we feed about 200 head here. Gary Sell is the crop manager at Crystal Spring Farm, a fourth-generation, family-run dairy farm, which is nestled in a lush valley in northern Lehigh County. This farm has been built up on decades of hard work and dedication, by a skilled and selfless family. During the busiest times of the year, 80 to 90 hour work weeks are common to keep the fields in top notch condition and to keep the cows happy and healthy. And if all goes well, the first crops of the year will start coming off of the fields as early as next week. We'll harvest our rye first and if everything goes right, that's usually ready by the beginning of May. However, mother nature can complicate the process long before the green things grow. If it stays wet too long in the spring, we get a late start. I mean, all our crops are late, which could affect yields. You won't get your first cutting off of hay and stuff, maybe when you should, because you're doing other things that you're behind on. Climate change has also been adding to the complexity. In the last 30 years, both winter and spring have trended wetter across Pennsylvania, a combination that has been making these late starts more common. This spring is exceptionally wet. Uh, the recent precip we had in the last four weeks is making it uh, that we can't start. 16 of the last 31 days have featured measurable precipitation, totaling nearly eight inches of liquid, which is close to double the average in that stretch. You're pushed in the spring, so all this is on top of each other and it, it stresses you out. I asked Gary if he has noticed any notable weather trends in recent years, and without hesitation, he mentioned extremes. The extremes came upon maybe just in the last eight to ten years at the most. I mean, where we'll have bitter cold, two days later it gets warm, the wind will blow out of the northwest, say, 30, 40 miles an hour one day, the next morning it's out of the south more humid summers and that's because of the, the heavy rains and stuff but with with rainfall we have more heavy downpours than, than I've ever seen. The data agree. NOAA's Climate Extremes Index tracks extreme weather events based on six specific indicators. Five of the six most extreme weather years in the U.S. have happened since 2012 and this includes a 55 percent increase in downpours in the Northeast. The increased frequency of extreme weather not only impacts the farmers and their crops, but the animals too. So cows really don't uh, take well to weather changes, like especially very drastic weather changes. They can't adjust very well, so their feed intakes change, which changes their uh, overall health and their production of the just overall quality of the milk kind of fluctuates then. And then you just get like sickness, mastitis or pneumonias or stuff like that. It's tough. You just kind of got to work with it. Feed quality also has a significant impact on a cow's health and milk production. You need to have a good crop program and you have to be able to store it well and, and effectively. You know, the moisture that you put the crops away at and, and um, you know, the time that you harvest them and that sort of thing. Hello. You can't make milk with something that's moldy or rained on or is old hay or as acidic for their stomachs. And yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. The combination of both wetter and more humid summers reduces the amount of stretches in which farmers can efficiently make hay. A batch of hay, if you want to bale it, uh, you need three good dry days. You can't have high humidity. You'll mow it in the morning one day. The next day, maybe you'll rake it or tet it to lift it up to get the air through it. And the third day, you'll, you'll bale it. Any kind of like cloud cover, or humidity, or maybe you get a spritz they weren't calling for, it messes the whole process up severely. Thankfully, dairy farmers make a lot of haylage, a high moisture forage that gets chopped up and put into the silos. And that we can mow one day and put in the next, which really gets us out of some of the weather predicaments. As fall approaches, attention turns from hay to corn, 
dairy farmers rely on a lot of corn silage, which needs to be made at a very specific time to maintain the highest quality. If late summer rains are sparse, the yields can plummet, but if it rains too much, farmers may not be able to get in their fields in time, which almost happened last year. Uh, we had extremely wet conditions in August and September. Uh, we are starting to panic, you know, that we wouldn't get our crops off. The harvest season can easily mesh with the holiday season if the weather gets involved too much. First or second week of December, we finish up. Hopefully we don't have early snow, which we often do, but yeah, we gotta wait for the snow to melt and go again. Farming is a year-round job, consistently done at the mercy of Mother Nature. It can often be tiring and stressful, however... You get to experience the miracle of life, like every day. It's something not a lot of people get to experience. Uh, you know, she's pregnant and she's gonna calve within a few weeks, you know, it's like, you look forward to that and you look forward to seeing her, her baby and, and then she starts milking and then that baby in two years, she'll have her baby and start milking. And you build generations of, of animals in a dairy facility and it's a lot of work for sure, um, but I, I think it's a very rewarding job and I, I really wouldn't want to do anything else. And despite all of the challenges that the weather can bring 365 days a year. After your challenge and you accomplish it, you feel like you're important. And I feel important because I'm feeding the world. And that's almost the most important thing you can do. Whether you live in the Lehigh Valley or you're just passing through someday this summer, if you are ever in the mood for the freshest milk and ice cream in town, stop by Crystal Spring Farm. You won't regret it. In Schnecksville, Lehigh County, I'm Ben Reppert for Weather World.